Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is the Minister M.L. Kimball coming to you live this morning. I am so thankful that you are with us today, and I'm thankful that you are taking the time out to view this recording. Uh, please, if you have not got a chance to, please like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Word on the Street Talk TV with Minister M.L. Kimball. Those of you that have joined our, our channel, we thank you for all of the support. We, uh, we've had a, a great number of outpouring supporters ever since we started uh, the channel almost a year ago, and uh, all of our platforms are just growing daily, so we thank you for that. Uh, I didn't want to spend much time wasting anybody's time today, but we do. I wanted to talk to you uh, about something, especially those of the Black community, um, you know, other known as the uh, Hebraic community, I want to speak to you about something that I think is very important. Um, so many times we have experienced where it's not, if it's not our family, it's somebody else that we're close to, uh, where there is a death in the family and, uh, you know, everybody seems to love everybody, each other until the person passes. And then when the person passes, uh, usually we find that there's no will in place and so it leaves the family to fighting over all of the personal belongings, and uh, it can leave a nasty, nasty mess. And, it, it, and it, it's, it's really, really sad because a lot of us just don't believe that we are ever going to leave here. or We don't believe that death is imminent for all of us. But the bottom line is we know that the Bible even tells us that we are all, all promised to be born and we are promised to die. Uh, so the thing of it is, it, it, it comes down to, are you going to set yourself up so that your family and your loved ones do not have to fight over your belongings because you did not get the things in place that you need to get in place? So that brings me to my next uh, subject, which is creating a will. Now, listen, it's very simple for you to create a will. I'm not an attorney, so I cannot draft up a will for you. However, I am a representative of the state of Ohio, and I can notarize a will. Now, it does not cost you anything to take out a piece of paper and date it and start writing down everything that you own. Why? Because, again, today, everybody loves one another, but tomorrow something happens to you, it can turn into a nasty mess because you did not create yourself a will. Uh, we've seen it with stars. We have even seen it with, you know, people like Aretha Franklin's family had to fight because of things like this. And these are things that can be avoided. You don't have to be at star level to understand that, you know, if I don't get my things in place so that my family doesn't have to fight over it, people turn into different people. Trust me, I have full time, firsthand experience of what death can do, uh, to a family. And the reality is you can make things easier on your family now just by preparing yourself a will. Now, what I'm going to offer to you is very, very simple. I'm going to offer my notary services to you for $5. You prepare yourself a will. I will notarize it for you for $5. And that will will stand up in the event something were to happen to you. In the event at the end of your life, something had were to happen to you, that will stands up in court because I am an official represent, representative of Lucas County, State of Ohio. Uh, you can look me up. I am a representative. I am a notary. And you cannot be a notary if you're a scam. So the bottom line is this. I can help you get your life in order. You cannot sit back and think that if I don't plan out my estate, everything's going to go smooth. Because like I said, families turn into different people when someone passes. And the reality is it doesn't take you anything but a dollar and some change to go get yourself a notebook and start literally uh, chronologically ordering a uh, order uh, listing the things that you own and who you want those things to go to. This makes things a lot easier on your family and your estate, uh, and it's something that you need to think about. Uh, power of attorney, same thing. What happens if you can no longer make decisions for yourself financially or medically? Who's in charge to make those decisions for you? Have you thought about that? These are things that you must think about because at the end of the day, we will not live forever. And these are the things that at the end, if we don't get them in place now, it can leave a nasty, nasty mess for those that you claim that you love. 
So like I said, this is very simple. Now, if you really want to sit down and talk about an estate planning, I can assist you with a complete estate planning package, which, which will set you up with a will, will set you up with a financial power of attorney, will set you up with a uh, executor of a state, it will set you up with a uh, medical power of attorney. It's very important that you know the difference between these two. A medical power of attorney has nothing to do with finances. So if you set up a power of attorney and you only set up the medical power of attorney, well, then somebody else, uh, could, you know, if, if you're not if you're not authorized to handle both the medical and the financial side of it, you won't be able to make decisions on the financial side of things. It's vice versa with the medical. The difference between executor of a state, a power of attorney becomes null and void after you pass away. So then what happens after that? You need to have someone in place that's going to execute your estate and make sure that your the, the details of your will is carried out. That's what an executor of a state does. And so you can get all of these things by setting an appointment with me. We can get you set up and get your estate set up and planned like it should be. If you just need to get a will done, Get your paper and pen out. Start drafting a will. And when you've got it all draft up, drafted up, email me and let's get this thing notarized so it stands up in the event something happens to you. That's all I got for you today. Until next time, be blessed on purpose.